Sadhguru, you have talked of how a seed has to go through the pain of losing its safety. I'm it's sorry, please, the seed. The, the seed, seed has to go through the pain of… Losing its safety, mm -hmm. its shield, how it has to become vulnerable in order to sprout. Until the sprouting happens, do seekers have to live their lives in increased states of fragility and vulnerability? Isn't that particularly hard on them? The seed in making itself vulnerable is not forsaking safety. Its only safety is in sprouting, growing and multiplying. That's only safety. If you do not know this, you already know this definitely, but in case you do not know it, the more insecure a particular population on the planet feels, the more they will reproduce. You know this? The poorer societies on the planet always have a higher rate of reproduction than the more affluent classes on the planet because there is a certain insecurity about their existence. So, the safety lies not in remaining a seed, the safety lies in sprouting, growing and multiplying. So you are not forsaking your safety by becoming vulnerable or by becoming available to change. Once a man came and told his friend, long time ago I was an invalid, his friend asked, what's your problem? What do you mean you were an invalid? No, till I was one year of age, I was an invalid, I was crawling. Your childhood or even before that is like being a seed. If you did not sprout and grow, would you be safer? you would be an invalid. I know these days it's become fashionable for people to claim, I am like a child. Even the so-called spiritual people are going about claiming, I am a child. If you say, I am a child, don't think it is some celebrated status. When you say, I am a child, you are saying, I did not grow up. Let us say, your body, your body has grown, so we cannot take that as an example. Let us say your mind remained stagnant from the age of three, how you were, it remained at the same place, only your body became the way it has become. So what are we supposed to call you, spiritual? So there is no safety in stagnation. A seed is meaningful only for a certain span of time, but seed is a stagnation. Seed is life, potential life, very important, but it is a state of stagnation. If you try to keep anything in a state of stagnation, for sure you will lose it. The only safety is to make it grow. The only safety is to make it sprout and prosper. Whether it's your body or your mind or your life, the only safety is in making it happen, not in trying to preserve it. Try this with your body and see. Many of you have tried, haven't you? Because you want to live for a long time, from tomorrow eat all the best food and save it, don't use it. 
If you want, we can provide you a coffin because anyway you will need it very soon. Try to save it. There is no safety in trying to save it, that's not the way life is made. The only way to save it is to use it. So the only way a seed can be safe is for it to sprout and become a plant and a tree. That is the only way there is safety for the seed. In stagnation there is no safety. But uh, your mind would speak otherwise. <clears throat> your mind would always say, a seed is safe because uh, generally it's in a hard case and it looks more solid, more preservable. A plant is out there, vulnerable. Anybody can stamp on it, any animal can grab it and eat it up. But that's not how life happens. A young boy came home one day and told his father, Daddy, I have some good news for you. The father asked, what's the good news? The boy said, you know I took the math test. He said, yes, what happened? You said, if I pass the math test, you are going to give me two thousand rupees. The good news is, you saved two thousand rupees <laughs> That's not safety. <laughs> <laughs>